Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a Sharp JH1600E solar inverter and you can see this one is coming up with a D20 error message on the screen. Now according to the Sharp inverter manual it tells us that the D20 error means that the internal temperature sensor is broken. So that's an internal yeah, sensor which uh, measures the temperature inside the inverter. So it's detecting an, an issue with that and it's throwing this D20 error message. Now uh, if, if your inverter is consistently coming up with this D20 error message then it is something which is going to need to be sorted out because as long as you don't have a, uh, a green light on your inverter you've got an issue. The system's not working at all. So what I'd always recommend to people is try to uh, shut down the inverter, see if a reboot will actually uh, sort out the issue. And to follow the shutdown procedure, it's also always important that we follow the correct uh, process. That is, we turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator here, so we're just going to throw that off. And then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter, which was over the other side here. So we just throw that off. I will let the system shut down completely and then we'll attempt to reboot. As you can see, it's shut down completely now, so we'll start it up again. The shutdown procedure is always important that you follow the correct procedure, but the startup procedure doesn't matter anywhere near as much. Uh, so either the, as long as the AC and the DC go back on, we've got the AC back on and the DC over here back on. And we'll see what happens here if that uh, clears the issue or not. And you can see straight away it's come up with a D20 error message again. So this uh, internal temperature uh, sensor issue, it is something that you'll be covered by Sharp under warranty. The Sharp J1600 inverters have a five year warranty from the date of installation. So if your inverter is still within that period, then you will be able to get it covered under your uh, inverter warranty. Couple of things which will uh, be required by Sharp for any inverter issues, uh, warranty issues, is uh, the model number of the inverter, which you can find on the side of the inverter down here. Well, uh, actually, they'll know the model number. The model's always the same. It's J1600. The serial number is what they want to see. So that's that number there. So uh, if your inverter is outside of the five year warranty, or you have no proof of purchase or anything like that, well, then you are going to need to uh, pretty much replace the inverter is the best thing to do because uh, it's not working as long as it's showing that error. You can try and get it fixed but in all reality you're probably going to be looking at $500 or so to get it repaired and then you've still got an inverter without any warranty so in our opinion you're much better off to bite the bullet, spend a little bit more, get a good quality replacement inverter with a full warranty and if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland sort of Brisbane type area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help you. If you're somewhere else around the country and you uh, need a replacement inverter, well, you can still get in contact with us because we can uh, ship you out a good quality replacement unit as well. 